Hey, it's Rich Trani. Thanks for watching. We are at the IT Expo Tech Super Show. It's February 2023. This is the 40th event. Uh, on our program is Derek Peterson. He is the CEO of Soder Technologies, and I should also mention we're in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Derek, how are you? Welcome to the show. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me here. Great to have you. What do you guys do? Well, Soder Technology is all about making IoT devices to keep schools safe. We have our flagship product that we call FlySense, which is the world's first patented vape detector and bullying detector. We've got these devices deployed in 22 countries and about, I don't know, 50,000 plus devices and growing. Interesting, you know, little known fact, last year someone vaped in the men's room and set off the fire alarm. And so it was, it's, it's not fun at a trade show when you, have to, when you have to all go outside for 15 minutes. So, but that could be very handy to have in a school, right? Absolutely, and for somebody to set up a vape to a fire alarm, they had to really be puffing really hard to get the I, I, I don't judge, but I'm just telling you the facts they, they as hit, they were. They as really they were. <laughs> but now in school is a different story. You know, we got young adults, young kids, impressionable, they're vaping, and they don't know the damage they're doing to their lungs. And also our device picks up on sound anomalies that represents possibly being kids being bullied. And that's an ongoing issue throughout schools also. That's awesome. So why did you decide to focus on tech for school safety and wellness? I could do a lot of things, and one of the things I want to do is how do I give back and how do I keep people safe, and that's near and dear to my heart. Matter of fact, we named the company Sada because it's named after the Greek god Sartaris, which is the god of safety. So everything we do is all about how do we keep people safe. I didn't even know there was a god of safety. That's very cool. Yes, that's, so everything, we all, we, we double down on how do we keep our young ones safe. Why, why would you not you want to keep a young person safe? I agree. Speaking of which, there's a mental health crisis in the country. Do you think uh, technologies like AI can help with that? Absolutely. So in regards to mental health, um, one of the first telltale signs of somebody's having duress is facial expressions. So now if I can, over, if I can install software overlay on top of camera systems that schools already have and start getting some idea of what's going on in children's faces, are they happy, happy, happy? Are they sad, sad, sad? Or maybe they were happy five days, and then the next five days, they're sad, there's some emotional state. It gives you a little insight to what's possibly going on in their lives. Maybe they may need a hug, something's going on at home. But how can we give schools some extra intelligence? That's where we can use AI. What are some of the other benefits of um, AI-based uh, detection? Well, in regards to simply AI, our, our sensors that we put in the bathroom that we call FlySense, there's a lot of AI going on in there because we have to understand what we see in the air. So are we seeing, um, Axe body spray being sprayed? Are we seeing the Taylor Swift body spray? Are we seeing Lysol? Or is that actually vape? I mean, we had one school actually tell us that the kids, every time they, get, they go to the vape, they vape after they eat lunch. We're trying to distinguish between is it gas or is it actually vape? And so a part of our AI intelligence is able to do that. <laughs> that's, that's pretty amazing. Uh, <laughs> can, we, can we detect emotional states of the, of the school population without dealing with privacy issues? Are there privacy issues? How do, how do we work through that? Oh, very good. So, in regards to dealing with privacy issues, so the things that you don't want to do, and it's a kiss of death, you don't want to do any facial recognition. So you want to anonymize the face. You, you, want, to do, you want to understand the face, give it a hashtag, anonymize it, so now it becomes basically a serial number. So you, there's no recollection, no identification. And then you can assign points to that, where that person's, that, that, that number is happy, that number is sad, and over time you can build a sentiment of what's going on in this for the school population? That makes sense. And I'm, you know, as we're sitting here talking or standing and talking, I'm thinking, you know, you could probably apply this technology beyond school, right? Oh, you could put the same technology in, say, like stadiums, malls, where there's a lot of high traffic people, airports. And you're just trying to get overall sentiment. What's going on? How do I get that extra IQ or extra intelligence of a situation? It basically comes down to situational awareness. That's awesome. What else can we expect from Sadr? Well, we're working on a lot of neat things. So this coming out in this, uh, this upcoming spring, we're going to be releasing what we call an IAQ sensor, full indoor air quality sensor, that we're going to be targeting some the ag tech market, agricultural technology, uh, and, and things like that. Excellent. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.